Hi and welcome to Projects 360. This video is on our new scheduling enhancement. So if you go over to the menu and go to schedule, it'll take you here to the master calendar. Um, you can filter uh, the calendar by the master, which is everything, by service work orders or service calls, uh, project work orders or projects schedules, employee, and the CRM sales calendar also. You can also filter by month, week, day, or list. Um, you can also schedule teams now. You can create teams in um, our software. So if you go down to the company setup and go to employee teams, you can add teams. Simply just click the plus symbol right here. And you could maybe create a service team if you had one. And then hit next. And then you'll simply um, drag and drop over who is part of that service team. Um, and now you've created that. And I'll get into the scheduling portion of it here in the schedule. So going back to the schedule, after you've created all your different teams, uh, you can also see if in the master calendar all of your employees. When you do hover over an employee um, avatar, you can see who that employee is. The avatar consists of the employee color that was set up in the employee settings and their initials. Um, you can see all the unscheduled service work orders. And when you do hover over those, you can see how many hours are budgeted. Um, you can also click on this and go right into the work order if you'd like. And then just hit the back button to go back into the scheduling. And you can also see all your project work, unscheduled project work orders. Um, if you want to filter by just seeing the service, you can just click on the service button and say you want to see the week view. Um, simple as that. And now say you want to schedule one of these service um, work orders, just simply drag and drop it to where you want to schedule it. Say it's Friday at 9 a.m. You can select the color um, that you want it to be. So maybe it's green. Um, then grab the, here you can grab individual people to drag them over, but here's where those teams are. So if you wanted to bring your service team over, you can drag your service team over to schedule them. It brought over the title of the work order, the project, it brought all that information over to you. Um, this was, you know, budgeted for a few hours, so I can update this to maybe um, 11 a.m., or whatever I need it to be, um, I can click off it, and now it is scheduled. Um, if I do need to extend that, I can simply drag it down to a longer time, and it's automatically saved. If I need to change days, I can drag and drop it and change it, change days. Whatever I need to do and everything gets updated automatically, so that's the nice thing about the drag and drop. Um, we also have the all day event, so you can see, like I went over to the project work orders, where you can see items that are scheduled all day. And if you do need to schedule individuals for service calls or other things during their all day events, you can see all the all day events over down here um, in the business hours section, nice and easily. Um, you can also use our filters. So you can filter things. So if you want to filter by employee or employees, by projects, a project or projects, by dates, whatever you want. So if you just wanted to see Brian and add filters, you can do that and it'll show his schedule. So again, keep in mind if you're not seeing everything um, on your calendar, always check your filter section here because it'll list, have the little icon um, of what you're filtering by. Just hover over it and you'll see the trash can um, appear and you can just click on it to remove that filter and now it'll show everything automatically um, for you on that. You can also um, just add an event. So if you just need to add something that's not doesn't have a work order or anything like that, just want to add something quickly, just quickly click the plus symbol. The scheduling comes up. You can, you know, again give it a color, you know, give it a title, just click on it, 
you can select the project if you want to associate it with the project and then you can also even select a work order but none of that stuff is required if you don't want to do that um, so makes it nice and easy for you on that also you can use our all the calendars do have an iCal capability so you can click on the iCal it'll give you the link to the iCal and then if you need instructions for Outlook Apple or Google just click on those and it'll give you the instructions keep in mind this is only a push you do need to do the scheduling inside our software also you can create um, invites too with the ICS so you can download the ICS um, it brings down the ICS information right here you can then open that it shows automatically who's all scheduled with that if you do need to add anybody just click on the scheduling assistant and you can add people right here and you can uncheck people also but again this is just a push everything still needs to be scheduled and all the work needs to be done in projects 360 you can also go back to the master calendar and you can see by employees if you click on one of your employees you can see their availability and you can see business hours so you can see what they're available and what they're not if you want to use the all day just click the all day and it'll show you all hours you can click business hours to go back so you can see definitely what your workload is by employee um, by just clicking on them right there and the employees still have their own my schedule so they can just click on that to have this their schedule if you need um, to schedule a sales event for the sales CRM it's right here you can click on that and then just simply add um, events to the sales CRM uh, right there and that concludes our scheduling enhancement video have a great day